I suppose, Ben, there'd be some people that look at a little dog like this and sort of say, wouldn't you want a real dog? We get that a lot. And the comments that you get invariably are, oh, what happened to your dog? Did it chase a parked car? We get quite defensive about it because obviously we love the breed. Um, and it'd be nice if people actually came up with their original sort of an insult. <laughs> They are specifically bred and they do have a purpose. That's right, to be a companion dog. And I suppose if there's one function of the pug above and beyond everything else, they make people smile. Oh, all the time, all the time. See, most dog breeds, I would argue, they look pretty uniform, but in terms of behaviour, they vary a lot. I mean, there's range in all sorts of breeds, but in the pug, it's a nice narrow range. You know what you're getting. Generally, you do generally do and if you've got a well socialized puppy then you're going to have a, a well socialized adult but as you say pugs that that range is quite narrow for um, you know being that optimum family dog I would have thought pugs would be one of the safest dogs in the world with young children generally I'd have to agree with you I, um, I've never seen an aggressive pug. Just interested in the temperament. Obviously some bitches with new puppies would bite. What do you think she'd do? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. We'll just say we'll ask her, because she's stressed. You've taken a puppy. Strange person. Good girl. That's pretty good, isn't it? That, that again, is a good ad for the temperament. Yeah. They absolutely dote on their family. So they'd be obviously a good old person's dog as well. They're an excellent old person's dog. My mother's actually got um, one of my retiree girls. Any things you've got to watch about the brood? Uh, yes, they love adventure. And if you happen to leave your gate open or there's a hole in the fence, they will go and investigate anything and everything. So I think you have to uh, have a very secure backyard. The other thing is, uh, they have no road sense. They will run straight into traffic. If they see something on the other side, they will just go. They do tend to overheat a bit in summer, hot summers. They certainly do. You leave them outside on a hot day with no water and um, no shade, and you'll have a problem. I've also heard of um, one breeder who actually swears by putting ice packs around their testicles on a male dog, and that's supposed to apparently call them as well. Just bring a bit of a tear to the eye, that suggests. It does a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not something I've done. <laughs> if you own the pug, you have to realise that, of course, those bulging eyes can get into trouble. They can bash themselves against things and ulcerate the cornea. Or, if they're really stressed, they can actually pop the eye out if it's under a lot of pressure. The other problems, of course, are respiratory disorders that we see because of all the folds they can get. You've got to just be very careful with them in hot weather. Don't let them run around if it's too hot and keep them cool. The other thing is they can get some problems in their knees occasionally, so ensure that the parents have been checked prior to buying a puppy and have your own puppy checked by your local parents. The club is to be congratulated that it is starting to measure things. Clearly, the the biggest hope for the future of pedigreed dogs is introducing for every breed measuring systems, particularly where you look at the breed problems. The Canine South Australian Canine Association has a hereditary diseases um, whole subcommittee, which is um, designed to encourage all of the breed clubs to start, you know, setting those sorts of um, programs in place. Now there is nothing listed for pugs. I point that out quite clearly. There is actually nothing listed as a hereditary disease in pugs. But we as breeders personally take on the responsibility that occasionally things crop up mm. and we want to see what level they crop up at, what the frequency is and whether it is a potential problem. I, I hate to say this, but some pugs, I reckon, don't have pretty faces, but he's got a very pretty face. Yes, Lovely he, has, eyes. he has a beautiful face. Yeah. But uh, um, some pugs do look different and it's a bit of a challenge to say they're pretty, but um, <laughs> that's, their, that's the way they are.